let's take a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. Today I'm here at Disney's Hollywood Studios to do something a little different on this channel. Today I'm gonna travel around the studios and show you guys everything there is to do Star Wars. December 15th, 1989, a little ride by the name of Star Tours opens. And this is the only thing back in 1989 that had to do with Star Wars in this park. But nowadays, everything is Star Wars. Everything Star Wars. Everything Star Wars. Even the food. First stop happens right here on Hollywood Boulevard. So right here on Hollywood Boulevard, they have what they call the March of the First Order. And it's pretty, pretty cool. And while you're waiting on the March of the First Order, head inside Pluto's Toy Palace, where you can find a lot of Star Wars stuff to get you in the mood for the day. Now the best place to watch the March of the First Order is straight ahead and I'll tell you why. Right after the March they have a Galaxy Far Far Away which is a live action show right up here on this stage. And they have it taped off where the March is going to come down and you can stand inside the tape here and get yourself a front row seat. See what I told you? March of the First Order is pretty much on the top of the hour from 10 to 4 and the Galaxy Far Far Away is on the half hour from 10.30 to 4.30. It's official. The March is happening. And that's what it looks like down Hollywood Boulevard right now. Check it out. Look at all the stormtroopers. And you can watch the camera crew. I am here under the authority of General Hux. You are here under the authority of me. Right there in your face. <laughs> Look at that. Under my command, you will be proud to wear the armor of a stormtrooper. So awesome. And what an easy way to get a selfie if you're in the front row. And that's the march of the First Order. Now they're marching back down Hollywood Boulevard. But we're going to stay here because we have a show to catch that's happening in just a few minutes right up here on this stage. And here we go. A galaxy far, far away. I am c 3 human cyborg relations. And this is my counterpart, Art and Dieter. Check it out, BB-8 and Ray. What an awesome way to see so many Star Wars characters in one spot. And if you walk behind the stage after the show, you can see pretty much all the characters walking out. That's pretty cool, right? And once you see those shows, it's gonna definitely put you in the mood to wanna meet those characters. Luckily, straight ahead. At the Star Wars launch bay, you can meet Kylo Ren, Chewbacca, and BB-8. And if you're lucky, roaming around, you will see some stormtroopers and Jawas. Stormtroopers just walking by. Check that out. How cool is that? They just roam around the launch bay. Now we gotta meet Chewbacca. It's only a five minute wait. It's Chewie. You know what the good thing about Chewie is? He gives the best hugs. Like the best hugs. Look at this. Oh my gosh. They're so good. All right, let's get a photo together. You're so tall. Bye, Chewie. See you next time. Meeting Chewie is always a good time. Make sure you give him a hug. And almost every time I meet him, he asks for me to get a selfie with him. It's pretty difficult because he's so tall. All right, this is what happens when you meet Kylo Ren. Take a minute. Close the resistance. Yes. Will you join me? Yes. Excellent. You will find either patient teacher, which will make you a quick learner. Enjoy your trip. I may or may not have just joined the First Order. Whoops. And now let's meet BB-8. Buddy, this is so surreal. <laughs> wow. Hi. How are you? 
<laughs> Bye, BB-8. See you later. That is totally worth the wait if you would like to meet BB-8. Man, it's it's a good time. And when you're done with meet and greets, be sure to walk around the rest of the launch bay and look around because there's lots to see and do here. You can even get on the little speeder bike here, just like in Return of the Jedi, and get your photo made. That's so cool. And you gotta get here to check out the Jedi Training Academy. This is pretty cool. And it features some pretty neat characters, including Darth Vader and Kylo Ren. Now there are some other characters that show up from time to time. And if you and your family get here early enough, your kid could take place inside that show and fight Darth Vader and Darth Maul. Pretty neat, right? Ooh, traveling around all day today doing all this Star Wars stuff has gotten me pretty hungry. Luckily, the back Lot Express is open and it has a warehouse of good eating and almost all the food here is Star Wars related. Check it out. They have a Royal Guard burger, the dark side chicken and waffles that have an imprint of Darth Vader on the waffles. You can get a Padawan limeade, a BB-8 souvenir sipper, a Darth Vader chocolate cupcake, a BB-8 lemon cupcake, even a galactic salad with chicken. Like I said earlier, everything here is Star Wars, including the food. And now it's time to check out Path of the Jedi, Master the Ways of the Force in this exclusive screening that follows Luke Skywalker on his journey from farm boy to Jedi Knight. And it's open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And check it out before you go see the screening. You can check out the Disney Infinity games and you can actually play them right here. Now there's no filming inside Path of the Jedi. It's a screening that you watch a 12 minute video, basically like a montage from all the Star Wars films. It's pretty cool and a nice way to get out of the sun and cool off. All right, Star Wars fans, that about does it for today. You literally could come here and spend an entire day doing nothing but Star Wars stuff. And it would be a fun day, especially if you're a huge fan. And for those of you who are not that big of a fan, it's still something to do. And now you guys know exactly what there is to do so you can plan your day accordingly. I'll see you guys on the next episode of World of Micah, everybody. Stay weird. Goodbye.